In order to divide by a fraction, you need to know how to multiply by fractions. So I will be assuming you're familiar with the procedure for multiplication. You could check out my video if you like. We have all fractions, so I will flip the fraction by which I'm dividing or take the reciprocal. Change division to multiplication. And then we'll just bring down the 7 twelfths. Now we can reduce if possible. The greatest common factor of 12 and 30 is 6. So divide by 6 leaves us with 2. Divide by 6. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. We'll have to change the mixed number to an improper fraction. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 3 is 35. Over 8 but I have not taken the reciprocal, so it's still division. And now I'll take the reciprocal. Change from division to multiplication. and bring down 7 sixteenths. It's fine if you skip this step. You can go directly from here to here. I just wanted to show explicitly what you were doing. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. Now you multiply straight across, and there you go. I'll rewrite 20 as an improper fraction, just put it over a 1. Now I'll take the reciprocal, change division to multiplication, bring down the 8 ninths. We can simplify, divide by 4, divide by 4, and this leaves us with 2 over 45. Looking at number 4, we'll change this mixed number to an improper fraction. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 is 27 over 4. We'll take the reciprocal of 3 eighths, which is 8 thirds. We'll change division to multiplication. Now we can simplify, divide by 4, divide by 4. Divide by 3 divide by 3. This gives us 18 over 1, but that's not considered simplified. You need to write this as 18. Looking at number 5, we'll write 18 as an improper fraction. We'll take the reciprocal of 3 tenths. Change division to multiplication. Bring down this 18 over 1. 
and we can reduce divide by 3 divide by 3 multiply straight across 60 over 1 but you have to keep going correct answer is 60 notice that 6 and 8 are very similar the fractions are the same since this one has a set of parentheses I'll just deal with what's inside there first over here the order of operations does say that I should do multiplication or division whichever I get to first going left to right but we can take a shortcut if the answer is going to be the same. So I'm going to take the reciprocal of 10 over 21 change division to multiplication bring everything else down and now we can reduce divide by 7 divide by 7 divide by 4 divide by 4 that's everything we can reduce so we have 9 over 50 turning our attention to number 8 again I'm gonna just do what's inside parentheses take the reciprocal change that to multiplication and I would reduce here but nothing there's no common factors so we're just gonna have to multiply 3 times 21 is 63 20 times 10 is 200 4 sevenths next to parentheses means to multiply instead of putting parentheses I'm just gonna put a dot here for multiplication bring down the 4 sevenths and now we can simplify common factor of 7 here divide by 7 divide by 7 common factor of 4 divide by 4 divide by 4 now when we multiply straight across we get 9 over 50 which you can see is the same result so I could have taken a shortcut here and just done this in one step just like I did over here but with parentheses I'm just trying to be a little more careful if anything inside parentheses had been added or subtracted uh, you wouldn't get away with this so I'm just being extra cautious when there's parentheses we have two more to solve multiplication or division whichever we get to first so I'll need to take the reciprocal of 3 twentieths that's 20 thirds change division to multiplication bring down our 3 fifths and since I don't have parentheses I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down the multiplication and the 1 sixth now we can simplify divide by 5 divide by 5 divide by 3 divide by 3 and we still have a common factor of 2 so divide by 2 leaves us with 2 divide by 2 leaves us with 3 
And so one times two times one. We have two in the numerator. And one times one times three. Three in the denominator. Again, if you missed one of these uh, reductions, it just means when you get here, you're going to have to do a little bit more reducing. But you will end up with two-thirds, regardless of the order in which you do your reducing. And number nine, uh, again, I have a set of parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and solve what's inside here before trying to take the reciprocal. So divide by three, divide by three. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So what do we actually have in the parentheses? 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 3 is 15. I haven't taken the reciprocal. I just solved what was in parentheses. So I'm going to bring down my division sign, the 1 30th. Now I'll take the reciprocal. Change division to multiplication. Bring down 1 30th. And we can reduce. Divide by 15. Divide by 15. Multiply straight across. And there's the answer. If you would like a little practice with these concepts, if you're at my website, I have a worksheet with a detailed answer key.